In this bonus video, I've taken my camera along to the High Force Waterfall in Middleton and Teesdale. Join me. Roll titles. <laughs> Hi YouTube, Brian James, I'm Micro Four Thirds Guy with you once again. And I've been out today at a place called High Force Waterfall near Middleton and Teesdale, not too far away from Darlington on the top of the Pennines. And I took the camera along, still camera, didn't take the video camera with me today. I took a still camera, my Impus EM1 Mark II and also my 40 into 140 Lumix lens with the pure intention of taking some snapshots. But it was such a gorgeous place, I thought I'd take some photographs and show you in it as well. So uh, I'll, I'll show you those, keep watching for all the photographs from there. But a quick little bit of background to, um, first of all, what I was doing camera-wise, and secondly, what about this uh, this high force waterfall? Well, camera-wise, I went out, it was all handheld. I had no filters with me, everything was just shot through. And I got some really nice creamy shots of the waterfall coming down by using slow shutter speeds, taking it down the extended uh, ISO 64 um, sensitivity, which gave me uh, a, well as long an exposure as I could possibly get. Most of the shots took taken down on the lens at f22 to try and get as little light in for as long a possible as long a shot as possible to try and get the creamy effect. Not easy when it's handheld. So uh, most of the time, most of the shots were around about a fifth of a second, which isn't super slow, but it was good enough to get a creamy effect. And you see that shortly. But what about this uh, what, this waterfall? It's uh, it's comprised of three different levels. When you look at the waterfall, it's comprised of three different levels. The very top level is what they call wind sill. It's a very resilient rock formed over 295 million years ago, and it was by molten lava getting in between underground rocks, and that's how that one appeared. Then you've got a layer of sandstone between the wind sill and the next layer down. And that sandstone was uh, was done through being in part of a river delta. And uh, that's how that one formed many, many years ago. And below that is limestone. So you've got three distinct layers of, of rock on that. And that limestone was from the, when the Pennines used to be at the equator. Not all the way up here at, um, what, uh, 53 degrees north, or whatever it is, however many degrees it is. But a lot of degrees north it used to be on the equator. And that's when the limestone when the limestone was formed. So there's three distinct levels of rock. And what we have is the fact that the water comes down from the River Tees and it falls into a, a still pool at the bottom with some considerable force. And uh, of course what's happening is that slowly eroding away. This has been going on for over 15,000 years. And what's actually happening is as this erodes, the waterfall is getting further and further upstream. So today we have this place called High Force and that's what we're going to see today. Now those rocks that I've said about the sandstone and the limestone, they're even older than the windsill because if you remember I said the windsill um, rock was um, was lava which had gone between layers and that the uh, the sandstone and the limestone are around about 330 million years old that's when they came along so really really old rock formations now the word force on this is uh, from a, a Norse word which means waterfall so the uh, where, where it's uh, where, where we use the, the force it is waterfall in the name and that word, along with words such as Dale, Beck and Fell, came over with the Vikings about 1100 years ago. Now, before I go any further, a little shout out to a guy called Mal Lockley. He's one of the subscribers on the channel, been watching for a good while. And I bumped into him in Barnard Castle yesterday. So a big shout out, Mal. Wonderful to see you. And if you do see me on the street, if you're any subscribers and you see me around the place, stop and have a chat. I'd love to have a chat with any of the subscribers anytime I bump into you. So that's enough about high force. Let's go and see some of the photographs. As I say, they were literally just snapshots taken, but I thought you might like to see them because there's a few of you noted on here that you like seeing some of the places I go to. And what I'm trying to do on these photographs isn't to be some fantastic ace photographer. I'm just trying to give you a little bit of an insight to some of the places I go to because there's some beautiful places in the UK. And uh, I know that people from around the world are enjoying seeing some of these photographs. So join me on these. Uh, where it's important, where, I've, where I thought it's important, I might put some little um, markers up as to say what the shutter speed and aperture and things were. Not on all the photographs, but on some of the ones where I got the creamy sort of, um, the creamy sort of look to the water. So you got a nice idea what it's uh, what the camera was set to to create, to create that effect anyway enjoy the photographs very very quick video a little bonus shot 
enjoy it. I'll say bye bye to you now and I'll show the photographs now. But up till then, don't forget, these wonderful people are my patrons. Link below. And if you like to support the channel, there's also a PayPal link. And don't forget to support us by giving a, a, a like and subscribe. Anyway, keep taking your camera out. Keep having fun with your photos. Roll the film. Roll the photos. Bye.